Hey what's up, my name is PJ and in this video I'm going to show you how you can speed up your old Mac for free. Hope you enjoy it. Okay so the last few months my iMac has started to run a little bit slow. I got it in 2012 I think. It's a mid-2011 model though so it's a few years old. Um, I spec'd it out a little bit, I, I bumped it up a bit, it, the, the specs are not too bad, but um, five years on, it's starting to get a little bit slow. So I've been doing some research trying to figure out what my best options are. I've been thinking about upgrading, thinking about going down a um, MacBook route and getting one of the dongle books as they call it, or do I build a PC, or do I try a Hackintosh, or do I get another iMac and I've been trying to figure out what's best for me. Um, in the meantime, I have been trying to figure out what I can do to speed up my current system. And this is the solution I found. It's called Dr. Cleaner and it's free on the App Store. Let me find it real quick. Cool, so check this out. It's called Dr. Cleaner Disk Memory Free Up. It is absolutely free. There's a paid version as well. I think it's about 20 to $30 uh, with some premium features, but to be honest, you don't need them. So go ahead, get yourself this Dr. Cleaner. I'm gonna run you through it right now. So firstly, it runs in the background. As you can see up here in my little toolbar, it's got memory 72%. So it's running in the background and it's showing me that 73% of my RAM currently is being used up with all these different tasks that you see down here. And I've got a few things open at once deliberately just to show you. I've got Chrome running here, uh, my email clients, I've got Lightroom. I'm also recording this in ScreenFlow, um, App Store, Dr. Clean. I've got a few things running at once. So as you can see, it's running in the background and it's got a little a, a little summary of what's going on on my computer. It's got the network usage and speeds that I'm currently getting. Junk files, this is a really quick, easy one. A lot of the files on your computer. Anyway, I'll get through that. I'll get to that in a second. The What we're looking at now is the memory usage. So out of my eight gig, nearly six gig is being used currently. So let's go, let's have a look what happens if I close Lightroom. So it happens automatically after a little while. If it doesn't, you can just click optimize. And basically what it does is using that portion of the RAM that was used for Lightroom, it's going to free it up because my understanding is that what your computer will do is it's going to um, save that portion of the RAM for Lightroom in case I open it again shortly. So as you can see, it's gone down, what, three gigabytes. So instead of um, leaving that aside, so if I open up Lightroom in the next few minutes, it can open up super quick. It's going to um, shut off that part of the RAM and free it up and make the rest of my computer faster. So that's really interesting. You can see even more if I, if I close Chrome. Let's see if it does even more. But yeah, it's a really cool feature and something that I didn't understand until I started to use it. Um, and it's been really useful. Um, anyway, that's really cool. The other bit on this little interface here is the junk files. So that'll only free it up a little bit because Chrome doesn't take up as much. But anyway, the junk files, every application that you download has all sorts of junk files attached to it. It has language files and cache files and um, you know stuff in the recycle bin and temporary stuff that you need at the time or sometimes you even don't like languages. You know, I don't need the Spanish files that come with Lightroom because I only speak English. Uh, but anyway, I can click this button and automatically clean all of those files from my system. Free up easily close to four gig, just like that, straight off the bat. That's a really good, quick, easy win. Let's get into the main interface of the software. So this doesn't open on its own. The little um, summary up here, that runs in the background at all times, but this is the sort of main program. You just open it from your applications folder. I already mentioned junk files. You can easily just scan your system. You click it and you click the folder you want to scan and it'll find any junk within that. Uh, like I said, cache files, trash, language, um, stuff you don't need. The best bit that I found was the big file. So I'm going to click scan here and it's going to scan my hard drive and it's going to see the files that I have on my hard drive and break them down into categories. So I believe there's like a a 10 gig and over, and there might be like five to 10 gig, one to five gig. Yeah, so basically it takes a minute and it'll scan your whole computer and it'll find all the biggest files. So just through doing this, I found all sorts of stuff that I had downloaded and either never watched or I watched, you know, once or twice years ago and then never touched again. I was able to free up in these different categories 
I was able to free up about 400 gig worth of space from my hard drive, which is a lot. That's like a quarter of my hard drive. Um, and when it gets full, this is the easiest way to do it. Find the biggest files, you just click them like this, then you click next and you click delete. Very, very easy. That saved me a lot, a lot of space. Next one is disk map. This also requires you to pick a folder, scan it, and it basically breaks down visually what's in the folder. So it shows you where all the space is being taken up and you can click. So let's say I do, let's say that I do my documents. It's gonna scan that folder and um, break it down for me visually. Just make it really easy to see where all the space is going, what's taking up the, the room on my computer. So you can see my big pants folder here is 44 gig. If that was something I didn't need, you know, the views downloads, that's something from literally five years ago that I've, I've never even looked at. I can click that, remove, gone straight away, two gigabytes. That's another really good one because a lot of the time, the stuff that builds up in your computer, you don't even know it's there anymore. Duplicate files is another good one. Again, you click a folder. For example, this is just my user on the computer. Scan it and it's gonna find anything that's downloaded twice or that's been added twice accidentally and it's gonna be able to cull the second version of it. I believe that's a pro feature. App Manager is a really good one as well. Um, I think it's also a pro feature, but basically what happens is when you download a file, you get everything else that comes along with it. And if you delete it by dragging it to the trash, you don't always delete all those files. Or sometimes there are hidden folders and files and whatever. So this gets rid of everything. Very, very handy. File Shredder, I believe this is also premium, but what you basically do is if there's very something very important that you don't want someone to be able to recover, you can put it in here and it won't just delete it, it'll um, delete it and write over it and over it and over it and basically just erase it for good so you can't ever get it again. That's basically it, the same company has a couple of other um, different tools, I haven't really looked into these, but for a free program, um, even just those three features, the junk files, big files and disk map and also the little, um, memory optimizer here. This is an outstanding product and it's given me, yeah, the last the last few months have been much, much more bearable and it's made me aware of my habits. It's made me clean out my system and um, keep it clean because I know where the space is going and I know how the memory is being used. So I highly recommend this. Um, I'm actually, I've just bought some parts to upgrade the computer and I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be putting a new hard drive, some new RAM in there, and I'm going to be taking much better care of my computer from now on. So yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're a Mac user and you've learned something and you've enjoyed it, give me a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.